have a thought for you today. It's from a movie I saw a few days ago. And in this movie, this man stopped to help this woman in distress that many had ignored. And she said to him, why did you help me? And he said, because you were in my path. And I thought, wow, how profoundly true that is. And I want to remind us all that helping and serving humanity begins with those that are in our path. Who is in your path today? I remember going through a season in church life pastoring when this emphasis came to us about divine appointments. And everybody was teaching divine appointments, belief for divine appointments, which meant some strategic, significant, exotic, compared to normal stuff, encounters with some random stranger on a plane or something somewhere where the examples we were given, where you kind of spoke into someone's life in some dramatic life-changing way. <laughs> I didn't like that teaching and I said so publicly many times because I felt what it was doing was it was blinding us to what was in our path. It was making us look for a better path, a more exciting, exotic path, rather than the ordinary ones that we were living in where ordinary people like us needed ordinary help from people that noticed them. And I began to build a culture in the church and then through my own life, I wrote a book called 15 Revolution about this stuff where we helped people in our path. And we saw that that was the best thing we could do every single day. So I want to remind you today that there are people in your path. Look no further than the, the, than the, the kid at the checkout supermarket or the guy at the petrol station or the mums on the school run or the neighbors you'd walk or drive by every day or the people at work you never speak to. Look no further than that. These people are in your path to be noticed, to be seen, and possibly need some help from you today. Why did you help me? Because you were in my path. Enjoy your path today and help and serve people right there. Love you guys. Thanks again.